What's up guys, Josh here again, and today we are checking out the week 20 content update for Icarus. We have a bunch of new items, a new mission, and more. Let's get into it, shall we? So, we have week 20 workshop restock. Icarus week 20 update workshop restock. Week 20 brings our new orbital items, a new mission, and a highly requested workshop repair kit. So they finally reached their 20th weekly update on Icarus, which brings a range of new orbital items that you can spend your hard-earned rin on. First off, we're going to mention repairing workshop items. Last week's patch introduced a new armor durability system, and now you can repair your workshop items. Under the workshop, we now have the option to buy a workshop repair kit bundle. The workshop repair kit bundle is available for 100 exotics to research and 50 exotics to craft. What this lets you do is drop down with a workshop repair kit bundle and unbundle it on the surface, which gives you five workshop repair kits that you can use near a machining bench or fabricator to repair your workshop gear. There is no prerequisite for this item and anybody can purchase this. And of course, this update brings new workshop items and area modifiers. Back in the workshop, we have two new backpacks available. The Larqua Martinez Tactical Backpack, which gives you 12 inventory suit slots on your character. And the Larqua Martinez Mercenary Backpack, which gives you shotgun ammo capacity, plus 25%, plus 25% reload speed with shotguns, and plus 25% damage with shotguns. Both backpacks require 50 Ren to research and 25 Ren to craft. Also this week, we have the Strength Boost module that released. This enables you to increase the carrying capacity of people around you. It costs 150 Ren and 50 Exotics to research and 100 Ren and 50 Exotics to craft. Note that this item's carrying capacity increase is only for people around you. As a solo player, you won't want to use this, as it will be ineffective completely. Also, we have the Healing Boost module. And basically, this allows quicker healing from bacterial infections, parasitic infections, poisons, and physical trauma. It costs 150 Ren and 50 Exotics to research and 100 Ren and 50 Exotics to craft. And also, this one only applies the buff to nearby allies, not yourself. This week, we also have a new Enviro suit and two new armors that we can drop down with. The Enviro suit, which is the Inneris Luna Enviro suit, has a negative five inventory suit reduction, but also allows you to carry three suit module slots. Yes, this is the only Enviro suit currently that lets you have three modules. It also comes with one oxygen and water slot. The suit is available for research at 750 Ren and 100 exotics, and to craft is 250 Ren and 100 exotics. You must unlock the NRS Luna Enviro suit to get the new armors. We have the ST700 armor. The ST700 armor gives a boost of plus 2% melee and 2% projectile per piece, which is 10% melee and 10% projectile per set. It also increases your stamina regeneration by 4%, which gives you 20% for the set. And it gives you cold and heat resistance. The set bonuses gives you negative 35% perceived threat, which reduces your chances of being seen by animals, plus 15% crouch movement speed, and 15% stealth damage, which is any attack that's performed in stealth. We also have the CX400 armor, and this armor is kind of more like a gathering armor, as with the full set, you will get negative 20% wear rate of pickaxes, negative 20% rate of axe a chance to instantly fail trees and break mineral or ore deposits by 1% for the set bonus, and 25 yield from mining and failing trees. So to keep in mind, the CX400 armor is a really good farming armor, where the ST700 armor seems like a really good stealth and damage build armor. One thing to mention is that all three armors have the exact same cold and heat resistance. This includes the Nanio, but the Nanio still has the most physical resistance, adding an additional 8 where these lose 8 versus Nanio. Not to mention, of course, Nanio's set bonuses and exposure resistance. So choose your armor if you choose to drop down with the armor wisely. 
So that's all the new items here in the workshop this week. They've also added a new mission, Forsaken Recovery. And this is the first mission where it has a hard fail state, meaning that once you fail to protect the ship and it explodes, the mission will fail and you'll need to restart the prospect by uploading and dropping down again. We also have the detailed change log. There's a few items that we haven't mentioned yet, but we're also going to show you the armor and new equipment in the game. And mention just a few things in the detailed change log that hasn't already been mentioned. So guys, this is what the new Inneris Envirus suit looks like. And I think it looks quite good. The Inneris Envirus suit has, like we said, three auxiliary ports, so you could put three modules into it. Here's what the healing boost module looks like and the strength boost module. And this is what the Martinez tactical backpack looks like. And this is the Larkwell Martinez mercenary backpack. And this is the one that gives 25% bonus to shotguns. And this is the CX 400 armor. This is the gathering armor, what it looks like. And this is the ST-700 armor. Of course, they all kind of look like Nanio, just colored differently. So this is the damage stealth armor. I also want to kind of show you the workshop repair kit bundle. You right click and consume and get five workshop repair kits. They don't seem like they do. I don't know. All right, let me take the... Um I'm going to take the strength off. Do you... Okay, what about now? So, so far, the strength boost modules hasn't really increased carrying capacity, it looks like. Even with uh, nearby ally, this may be bugged right now, currently. But it looks like the... What is going on up there? So that might be currently bugged. And as far as the other items that we'll mention in the detailed change log that we have here, they did finally fix the issue where weapons would disappear when you were attacked. That was kind of annoying. And where weapons were displaced in your hands. And fixed the issue where backpacks and envir suits could take damage. That's everything for the change log. And that's it for this time, guys. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Ring the bell. That way you know when we got new Icarus videos that come out. And hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Peace.